y'all it's your favorite rich auntie caramel k and i'm back to serve y'all some more tea the dance of charlotte <sighs> i don't know if y'all have been paying attention but a lot of people have been ignoring roy cooper and his executive order saying that masks are now mandatory one club in particular has now felt the severe consequences of not following his mandates I'm talking about none other than the popular strip club onyx unfortunately on friday night y'all they lost their liquor license because they could not follow the mandate saying that masks were mandatory no more than 25 patrons could be inside of an entertainment venue at a time and they had people inside sharing tobacco products hookahs i mean the whole nine not to mention they reported that they weren't even properly sanitizing surfaces that had high contact so they basically had like 19 clusters of corona cases at the club. Now this comes after two previous citations. On Halloween, it was over 200 people reported inside the club and most of them did not have on masks and were not practicing social distancing. On top of that, November 14th, they got another citation for basically the same situation. Club owner even spoke out and said that he did not believe in the 25 person rule for entertainment venues and didn't plan on following any of the mandates that Roy Cooper has passed. Y'all be safe, make sure you mask up and practice social distancing. The sooner we can get through all of this, the sooner we can go back outside, y'all. Come on, just follow the rules. Like, do it for me. Do it for the rich auntie because I'm tired of being in the house in peace to two dollar tuesdays for a while and who knows what's in store for onyx anything is possible when we're talking about onyx they've been under fire before you know they've lost their liquor license before so i'll keep y'all updated on this speaking of backlash kevin kelly owner of dallas restaurant true kitchen and cocktails is receiving a lot of that it comes after a video went viral of him approaching customers in his restaurant telling them to stop twerking on his furniture now you know on sundays when you go to brunch with your girls the dj is spinning all the classics it makes you want to dance a little bit but these ladies got a little bit out of hand take a look <laughs> Prime, take it to pink. Don't bring it here because we're rare out of talking on glass here. If you want to do it, get the fuck out of my restaurant. Do it again. I don't want to hear it. If you don't like it, get out because I don't need your money. Some people agree with him and say that brunch isn't the place to do that and that you wouldn't do it in any other establishment. Some people feel that it was unnecessary for him to use profanity and for him to call the ladies out publicly after the initial video went viral kevin decided that he was going to release the surveillance footage from his own cameras inside the restaurant to clear up the situation and address the controversy in the surveillance videos kevin is seen approaching the customers respectfully at not one but two different tables and asking them to stop twerking and standing on furniture this regard for his rules and warnings basically is why he took the explosive approach that he did with that being said, people are now bashing him on Twitter, Instagram, all social media platforms, to be honest with you, and basically saying, you know, if you don't want black culture in your establishment, you shouldn't have started a black business. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that he was right in everything he said and how he said it? Or do you think there was a better approach? Let me know in the comments below, y'all. Looks like the Queen of the South might have a huge career change coming soon, y'all. I'm talking about Big Lotto. Y'all know that her career has been taking off this year. She dropped Queen of the South. And when I tell you that that album really blew her career up, everybody has been getting on the Big Lotto wave. Now, y'all know that her full stage name is Mulatto. And it's caused a lot of controversy in her career over the past few years. With that being said, she says that she's sick of seeing it every day, basically, and a change is to the 2020 BT Hip Hop Awards. She revealed to Hip Hop DX that a name change might be coming with something big in her career soon. She says she can't release many details about it yet, but she definitely threw the hint out there, y'all. Now, as y'all know, Mulatto is her full stage name, and she has received a lot of feedback, negative, of course, about that name. Mulatto is a derogatory term in the black community for a child of mixed race, 
specifically black and white mixed race. Now, while receiving backlash for her name, she also received backlash for saying that she didn't prefer to be called black or white, which is why she liked the name Mulatto. At this point though, I think it's safe for Mulatto to just go on shorten at the big lotto and let her career continue to flourish because I would hate to see something like a name that can be changed, shortened, edited, altered, whatever. Take her out the game, y'all. We are in a time of cancel culture. And, you know, that is a heavy name to hold. Just like back when the baby called himself Baby Jesus, y'all know he made that switch real quick. So I don't think a name change is something that she should be hesitant about. And I'm happy that she's finally acknowledging things that are offensive in her career and could have a huge impact on her in the future. So big ups to Mulatto. Can't wait to see the new name and whatever this big upcoming project is. In case you missed it this weekend, Regine had her 22nd birthday bash at Atlanta Nightclub, The Republic, on Sunday, November 30th. In attendance were a lot of celebs, but specifically one of her best friends, Sonique Pullins, aka Tiny's daughter. Now, if you've seen any clips of this on social media, then you already know what I'm about to talk about. If you haven't, I'm just going to show you a short clip of Zanique at the party. A lot of y'all knew Zanique was pregnant by rapper Ben Hunter Izzy. And he was also in attendance standing right next to her in that clip. However, it was shown that neither one of them had on a mask. Now, with Zanique being eight, maybe nine months pregnant, a lot of people spoke out and let her know that, baby, you are not being safe and you are not thinking about the well-being of your child. Zanique did not like that feedback. Here's what she had to say about it. Not only did she share this video on her Instagram saying that she gets tested three times a week for the show Family Hustle and asking fans to stop showing fake support and love, but she also posted this message on Twitter saying that if they wanted to show real support, they could pay for a birthday party or offer to babysit. Despite her snappy responses, a lot of fans continued to reach out and let her know that they were just concerned about her well-being and the health of her unborn child. Every year, Merriam-Webster drops their word of the year. And today they announce that the 2020 word of the year is none other than pandemic. Editor-at-large Peter Sokolowski said that this does not come as a big shock, seeing as how the word pandemic went from a situational word to a general word after coronavirus hit us in March. He said that words sparked around certain points of the year when they are more popular, like love around Valentine's Day and turkey around Thanksgiving. However, the word of the year is generally a word that sets the tone for that year. And if anything, I think we all can agree that the word pandemic is perfect to describe 2020 and that we definitely will be using that word much more in the future. Before we go, y'all know we got to give a little birthday shout out. Chrissy Teigen turns 35 today and Michael Jackson's Thriller was released 38 years ago today in 1982. Hope y'all enjoyed the tea today with your favorite rich auntie Caramel K. I'll be back tomorrow at 9 p.m. to give you guys more trending news, celebrity gossip, and hot topics. I'm out.